uh, actually take the techniques that we learned today and combine it with what we know about making selections um, to create something like what I've created here. So on the left is Andy Warhol's Marilyn Monroe. And again, that was done using a printmaking technique to get these kind of bright areas of color. Um, and I used uh, Photopea and the tools that we've been using, plus the selection tools, uh, to create this one. This is uh, Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury from the Avengers over here on the right. Um, so today, during our asynchronous block, what I'd like you to do is actually set up the document um, that we'll be able to use for our, um, I'm going to call these pop photo squares. So we're going to create a new document. Uh, let me just close this one here. And we're going to go File, New. We're going to call this Pop Photo Squares. And it's going to be 10 inches wide by 10 inches high. And we can set the DPI to 300. And you can do this in Photoshop or Photopea, either way. And a lot of it is, is the same. Um, we're going to set this up similar to what we did with the pattern motif or with the pattern repeating pattern design. So we're going to add some guides. So I'm going to go view, add guides. And since this is 10 by 10, just like the last time, I'm going to set a guide at horizontal 5 inches and vertical 5 inches. All right, and then what I need to do, I want to put a photo in each of these spaces here. So we're going to do like four of these different color kind of variations, play with all the different layers and things that we've been learning about here. So. Um, experimenting with all the different uh, image adjustments, gradient uh, maps, that kind of thing. So I need to find a good photo. So I went here and I've already found a photo. I looked up Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury and I changed the tools to large. I found my image and then I copy the image and I bring it into Photopea. So we're in this one. I go edit and paste. And then I'm going to go to my Move tool. I can hit V on my keyboard if I want to jump to it. Make sure that Transform Controls is selected so that you can resize it. Shift to keep it proportional. And I want this to be a perfect square. So I'm going to use the Rectangular Select tool. And I'm going to hold Shift down and draw a square over top of this. And I can move the square to get it to where it's composed. I like how it's composed here. All right, and then what I want to delete, I don't want to delete that. If I hit delete, you see I delete the, um, the face. And I don't want to do that, so Command-Z or Control-Z. I want to select everything outside of it. So I'm going to go select inverse and then delete. Okay, and now select, deselect, or Command-D or select D, or uh, Control-D to deselect. And then I go back to my Move tool, so I can hit V on the keyboard or go up to the top button. And I'm going to size this. I'm just going to leave a little bit of space around the edges. Looks good. And then um, I'm going to make a copy of that. So I'm going to, well, let me name it first. So I'll go uh, Nick Fury uh, upper left. It's good to name those layers. And then layer, duplicate the layer, move that over here, I'm going to go Nick Fury, uh, Nick Fury upper right, layer, duplicate layer, Call this Nick Fury lower left. And then one more time. Go Nick Fury lower right. All right, now you can play around with this a little bit if you want to experiment with some of the things that we learned yesterday. Um, you can do that. Uh, otherwise, I'd like it would be great if everybody was at this point so that we could um, start to you know, play around with these in class. 
or next the next time that we meet. Um, I'm going to save this, and then I would upload it to the classroom assignment. So I'm going to go File, um, Save as a PSD. All right, I'm going to go to my classes. And I'm going to go into our class here under classwork, and then right underneath this pop-up portraits, okay, you can attach, upload your assignment to this assignment right here because we're going to come back to it and add to it from here. All right. Have a good one. See you next class.